right. Today is Friday. Today is the day we all have to realize that we've been scammed. Why am I saying this? 48 hours earlier, we were told that Russia is losing the war. So we were dragged into this war and claimed for the past 11, 12 months almost, because the war started on the 24th of February, so it's gonna be soon, the first anniversary of the war. We were told that we're doing this for a good cause. Well, a good cause, which is to add fuel to the fire. I don't get that. A good cause, which is to make us pay for the war. I think at some point we were even banned to talk about it. We could not even talk about the war. We could not even voice our concern against the war. It was almost a criminal offense to position yourself as someone who doesn't want the war, someone who doesn't want to help Ukraine. I remember all the social media, all the, I mean, the metrics use all its possible weapons to neutralize Russia, silence Russia, meaning the internet, the social media, the traditional media, the financial market, the sanctions, They've used literally everything they had in their possession to hurt, destroy, and win the war. And from uh, the first week, they've been saying, oh, Russia is winning. Oh, no, Ukraine is winning. Ukraine is winning, is winning, is winning, is winning. But guess what? A year later, they are saying, well, we don't think that we will uh, actually uh, take back uh, Crimea um, or even the Donbass. I don't think we'll be able to guarantee the return of all areas to Ukraine if that is not called acknowledging defeat what is it called if you're saying that the objective is that the reason why we're going to this war is because Russia invaded Ukraine so if you Russia is still detaining some territory or holding some territory in Ukraine that means that the war in your opinion will have to continue uh, because it's justified what is a stake here is that the western bloc is losing too many ammunitions 
they've not got the ammunition anymore. Strategic ammunition. They are losing it all. They've used literally all the ammunition that they have and uh, there's nothing there's nothing left so what they're going to do well they've been trying to kind of They've been trying to make more ammunition, but it takes time. It takes time and money. <laughs> Both things that are almost impossible to guarantee right now. So what we're gonna be left with? We're gonna be left with Russia smashing smashing it up and uh, winning the war and then so what what was the point of getting involved in the first place what was the bloody point someone might claim what was the point of getting involved what was the point of getting involved in the first place that's a good interesting question the whole world literally the whole world is in crisis the cost of living, the cost of the energy, the cost of everyday item, the cost of cost of mortgage, cost of houses, cost of services has rocketed and the economy is struggling. I don't know how these guys are going to, you know, pull this one without having to announce a great recession. Because they saying somehow, because they go, they're quite good at manipulating numbers and narrative. So they're saying, oh, well, you know, we, we've just about escaped or we'll manage to escape recession. On the other hand, the Russian economy only shrunk by 2%. They were advocating double digit, you know, recession in Russia. It didn't happen. It did not happen. It looks like all the economical sanctions that were put apparently, apparently, on the Russia were actually there to hurt us or were actually designed to hurt us or oh, no they weren't designed to hurt us it's just that uh, it's a long term we've heard all that stuff it's long term blah 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 it's not a short term kind of um uh, matter here we're looking at the sanctions in a long long term so we wait we wait for the long term where is the long term going to be well meanwhile china and russia and india and and the rest of the world which is a much bigger block than the western block believe it or not the western block is a tiny little group, tiny little group that pretends to represent the whole world. That tiny little group of nations. 
which don't even represent 30%. Not even 30% of the planet claim to take decision on behalf of the planet. On behalf of the people. No, they don't. They don't. And this war in Russia is going to show how stupid that Western kind of mindset is and how reckless the decision, the American decision to impede on ex-Russian territory and try and threaten Russians, um, Russia security, that decision was the wrong decision and they will acknowledge that. And I don't think that Biden will win the next election. Honestly, it's going to be a sanction vote for him. Let's wait and see. Mr. Trump is waiting.